Hi everyone, so welcome to our new reading. This reading is called Is he thinking of you 24-7? So is he constantly thinking of you? And yeah, you know. So we have four piles. Pile 1, Pile 2, Pile 3 and Pile 4. So choose your feather and then we're going to start with Pile 1. The timestamps are as always in the description box guys and my name is Purple. I welcome you to my channel. I hope you have fun here and everyone is subscribing to my channel, liking the video and commenting if you want, you know. So guys, I see you at the piles. Bye. So hi everyone. Welcome in the universe. Welcome to pile one. So this is your reading. Is he thinking of you 24 seven? We look at the feather later. So let's see what the cards are saying. So we have mending. So if I look at this, so if I look at this card, you know, I see the two girls looking into the sky, you know, you see this here and um, you know, they're looking up to the universe and um, I would interpret that as a yes, you know, because we must look at also the other cards, but I feel here that your person is feeling that, that this is some kind of soul connection, you know, they're looking up to the sky. So I feel that um, they really feel your connection. We also have the seven here and the seven is um, number 52 equals up to a seven and number seven is a very spiritual number. This is always an indicator for soul connection, you know, so that's what I'm feeling. I really feel that they also feel that that is, is a soul connection. But you see this, this card here comes up. So there the connection to you is blocked. Like they feel you, but they cannot reach you in 3D. You also see this here with the gateway being blocked. Is protected, you know, the entrance to you, the way to you, the path to you is protected by the sun and the moon we have here. So spirit is protecting this. Okay, so they feel the soul connection, you know, but they feel the right now the path to you in 3D is blocked. So they cannot reach out to you. All what they can do is think of you. Probably the same as what you're feeling, right? Okay, let's see what else the universe is saying. So we see that the, the path to you, the path in 3D is blocked. Let me see if I can put it like this. Yeah, this is cool, right? Yes. Okay. So you see they're trying to mend it and but the path to you right now is blocked. So what else? Yeah, they we have they want to send you a message like they're really passionate about you. Yeah, the page of wands is a me message of passion. Um, they really feel you, they feel you in their passionate energy, they, they look at you, they, um, they wish to they could be with you. So yes, they are thinking a lot about you because you see this here, this is blocked, but they want to, want to go over it, you know, and, um, we have worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So. They worry a lot because the path is blocked, you know, and they really want to mend it. I also feel that they worry that this is only a soul connection because I see this here in this card. Um, yeah, it's like they worry that their heart chakra and their um, 
what they're seeing and what they're feeling in their heart and what they're seeing in their third eye is not coming to reality. That's what they're worrying. Probably if you, you feel the same. If you are a soulmate, a high soul level connection, like a twin flame, um, you guys mirror each other. So you would feel the same, guys, you know? Okay. And we have financial and material changes. And look at this. I mean, I see a hand with a ring here. I just totally saw that ring here. And in Germany, it's you put the the marriage ring on the on this finger here. So I feel they really want to marry you. That's what I'm feeling. Like they really are into you. So are they thinking about you 24 seven? Yes, because they feel like they, you are the one. You are their one. You are their one person. Okay, so let's read your feather message. So we're going to see what what is written on the feather that you chose. So it's saying the, it is a green feather. It's saying you will soon enter into a beneficial partnership. Luck and longevity bless this union. Wow. So what I feel here is that this is a union. This is a spiritual union. And maybe you are not there yet, but yeah, they feel this, they feel this energy. Um, we have both times the five, so this will change. I see this, this will change in reality. So um, if this connection is blocked right now, this will change. And your person, you will receive a message because I feel here that if, if the cards are saying this will change and it will um, turn into a committed relationship, into a partnership, you know, you will soon enter into a beneficial partnership. Luck and longevity bless this union. I mean, this means this is a spiritual union, you know, and um, there is some change coming in this connection. So maybe your person writes you, sends you a message because they want, they are worried that this block is not going away. So they're really working on the connection, that they bring this connection into 3D. You know, um, if you have parted ways with that person, um, you know, if you've been together and now you're in separation, they worry a lot that you enter into another partnership with someone else because they are very passionate about you, but they know that their path right now is blocked. So, they just wait for a better opportunity, you know, maybe they wait for financial and material changes so they can propose to you. They can find a way to bring this relationship to a higher level. Okay. But they want to mend it. So whatever um, scenario fits for you, please apply that because, you know, there are many of you that are in soul relationships that has nev have never met in life. Um, then yes, your person is also thinking about you. They feel the soul connection. Maybe they don't know who you are, but they feel the soul connection. But they also feel that the way is blocked. And if this person is has been together with you, yes, they also think about you 24-7. Okay? So that's all what I'm having for you guys. I hope you like that reading. And I'm going to say bye. So hi, part two. Welcome to the universe. This is your reading. If you chose this feather, we're going to look at the feather later. So let's see if this, if your person is, is thinking about you 24 seven. So we have not for you. Okay. There's also a number six for balance, for love, for balance in love. Um, so this is what they tell themselves. They tell themselves, well, this connection is not for me. So let's see why this is and what this is all about. So here, two cards came out also for the um, tarot. We have the King of Swords. So your person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could also be that they are very logical person. If they are not a Libra, Gemini and Aquarius, they could be um, a lawyer, someone who's very logical. Um, yeah, and look at his face. He's not really looking happy. So that's what he is.
thinking to himself, you know, he's thinking to myself, oh, this connection is not for me, but his feelings like, and he's like looking sad about this, you know, that's what he's telling himself. But actually he's so passionate about you. The Knight of Wands is the most passionate knight. It's the one, look at this fire. Look at this fire behind the the, wa the knight. He wants to rush in. He wants to come to you. He wants to sweep you off your feet. That's the Knight of Wands energy. They want to go and have sex with you. They want, like he's really passionate about you. But that's how, you know, he's telling himself, no, this is not for me. You know? And he says, I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Yeah, he's very grateful. I also see here the eyes. Oh, he might be watching you on social media. That's what I really feel. And, um, you know, he's very thankful. He, he loves you very, this person loves you very much because um, you might have broken up with that person and they, yes, they think about you 24 seven. They're very thankful that you guys had time together because they're very passionate, but they tell themselves, no, this is not for me because they think they screwed up. I really feel here someone that screwed up and reali realized that. Maybe because um, it could also be that you guys just had a good time, you know, together, that you were not in a relationship and this person is thinking about you 24 seven, but he's saying, well, a relationship is nothing for me. Maybe that's, that could also be the case, you know, that this person is doesn't want to commit and they tell, tell themselves, well, a relationship is not for you, for me, but actually they are very passionate and thankful that they could meet you and they want to come in and, you know, want to make love to you and everything. They're very passionate about you. They think about you 24 seven. I see that here. Yes. <clears throat> and look at this. Um, there is movement choices, decisions. So I see here, this person has a lot of, there is the love card. Um, nature, you know, their hobbies, the, um, okay, we could also see it as the law, finances, um, his thoughts, and uh, yeah, what his nature is, you know, so he has to make a choice. What do I want? So this guy here is right now deciding because he's missing you. This person is really, um, you know, one day they are up, like, and they're saying, oh my gosh, I miss I miss her. I want to come back. I want to go back to her. I want to really try that. On the other day, they're like, oh my gosh, a relationship is nothing for me. I cannot do this. She wants a, um, she wants a perfect relationship. You know, she wants a committed relationship. Oh, I'm not the person for this. This is not for me. And then they, you know, it's like this balance going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that's why, you know, they have to move, they have to make a decision, but it's, it's on their hand, it's on their side. They have to make a decision for themselves what they want. And, but they think of you, yes. They think of you 24 seven. So let's see what we have um, as a feather. We have the hawk feather. Pay attention, a powerful message is being communicated to you now. See, I tell you, maybe this message was very powerful for you, but a hawk also, a hawk eye, I told you. They watch you on social media for sure. The hawk is for sure watching. They pay attention to everything what you're doing. They try to figure out what they want, but they love you. They want to come in. It's like they have to accept that, um, you know, they can be in a committed relationship. I really feel this person is telling themselves that they are not, you know, this is like a denial strategy because they love you. But we will see. This guy is for sure in love with you. And thinking of you 24 seven, of course, they're even watching you. Okay, guys. So that's all what I'm having part two. Bye guys. Hi, part three. So let's see if your person is constantly thinking of you, thinking of you 24 seven. When we look at the feather at the end. So let's see. First we have building blocks. Okay. Can you see this? I always have the feeling the you cannot really focus. The camera is not really focusing, but I think it is. Okay, building blocks. So they put you on a pedestal for sure. Look at this. You're up there for them. So it could be that they feel um, you are higher than them. You are not reachable for them. Um, this is like they idolize you. I don't know, but it feels like this, you know. 
We have the Nine of Swords, though. Yeah, still thinking of you 24-7. They even can't sleep because of you. They're very sad. Why is that? It's like the... Like here, you see this? It's blocked. Like, it's like they cannot go somewhere. They are caught in... You or them are caught in some kind of tower. I also see this here. It's like you or them are on a pedestal and they cannot reach you. And that's why they're stressed out. Adversity. Look at this big tower. It's like, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. I see here that that situation is really challenging them. I see here that your guys' hierarchy is different. This person feels you're on a totally different level. It's like they look up to you and they say, oh my gosh, I'm not worthy of that person. That's what I'm feeling here. This is like the, look at this tower. It's like unreachable. So your person stresses out because you're unreachable. Like they think, yeah, of course they think about you 24 seven. Either they or you are not are in that are caught in the tower it could also be that they know they cannot but they put you on a pedestal this is the feminine energy that's on a pedestal it could also be guys if you're watching and if you are the masculine energy um that your guy is on the pedestal because i see the feminine here not not a not being able to break out of whatever commitment they are in and i see here your person is creating art. Look at this. They're like creating art with the love they have for you. It's like they look at this. It's like they're creating art. They feel this energy. It's like a muse to them. Your energy is like a muse to this person. It's very interesting. Also, guys, it could really be that. Um, Yeah, if this is a twin flame, guys, if this is a twin flame, you feel the same. You feel the same, you know, and I also it could also be that I catch your energy, guys. You know, I al always catch energies from, um, you know, that the spirit is saying, because I, I know some of you feel this way. You put your pe person on a pedestal and you're stressing out because you, you cannot reach them and you do art for your person. But. You know, we asked, what are they, do they think of you 24 seven? Yes, yes. One of you is caught in the tower and cannot reach out. There's some tower where one person is in. One person cannot reach out to the other. And that's why in this time, they're creating art to show the other person. They put it on the window. They show the world. They want to let you know, look at this, I'm creating art because I cannot reach you. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, they're creating art in order for you to see. In order for you um, to see them creating art. Because they love you so much, they put you on this pedestal. And you are probably maybe in the public eye. And this person is thinking of you constantly. Yes, look at this. We have number seven, spiritual connection. Um, I see these two. That could be really a twin flame. Patience and planning. So this is all about being patient. You know, they know it cannot be um, right now. The door is not opened. You know. Patience and planning. Yeah. While being patient and waiting on this connection to happen, this is a spiritual connection. This is not someone in real life. Like, yeah, of course it's someone in real life, but this is not, you guys haven't met, I think. This is a spiritual connection. One of you is caught in the tower and cannot go out. And the other one, and m this person in the tower is creating art in order to show it to the other person, while the other, those are two, go oh my gosh, no, I see, those are the two people. One is you and one is the other person. You both feel each other's energies. Look at this, man, I haven't seen it before. Look at this, the, the two pillars. One is this person, one is this. 
both of you are in a tower both of you are caught in your own lives this is amazing oh my gosh i love how it unfolds in 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 the reading now i got it both of you are f in feminine energy right now that's why they are both um or it could be um, a same-sex relationship you know a same-sex energy but i see here one creating art in their tower and one being on the other tower on a pedestal in the public eye um, stressing out because they cannot reach the other person and this person is in the tower too and they accept the challenges and say well okay so i see this person here more advanced this is crazy this person is doing art and trying to reach out to the other person while this person here is more like they don't know what to do they're like going crazy so both of them are thinking 24 7 on each other this is crazy i've never had a couple on this reading this is cool so yes both of them are thinking on each other 24 7 so the feather is the eagle you are learning all aspects of spiritual connection and searching new heights this is crazy guys oh my gosh both of them are it's about an eagle i mean that's very important bird this is crazy this is crazy wow beautiful right beautiful okay let's move on bye guys so hi guys welcome to the universe this is your reading so does your person think of you 24 7 you chose this feather we look at the feather later okay let's see what the cards are saying we have very interesting readings so we have treasure island number nine being single being all in emotion look at this and they carry this treasure chest they carry this treasure on their back that's very interesting so they are very emotional then we have the knight oh yes the knight of cups this is like the same card as this one look at this it's like this person is bringing their cup to you this is like a message they want to give their cup to you um they really want to come forward but they're slow as fuck they're slow as fuck they're like trying to swim but it's like maybe the tides are like it's not a good like in water you know sometimes you you're trying to reach somewhere but they don't know where to they paddle to i feel like here the turtle being lost at sea <laughs> that's really what i feel i'm sorry <laughs> i feel the turtle is lost at sea oh my gosh so they think of you 24 7 they want to paddle to you but they're lost <laughs> why are they lost yeah I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. This is very interesting. What does this freedom card mean? I feel here that um, the turtle is free to paddle everywhere in the ocean, you know? The turtle is free. Like, this turtle, this guy... <laughs> your person has all the freedom in the world they have the complete vast ocean they can do whatever they want you see this but what is this turtle doing they're like maybe they, they tried to swim the ocean and they tried to paddle everywhere but they found their treasure island they, and now they want to come back to you so i think you set this person free you let them go that's what i really have the, the feeling you set them free and you told them probably well if you want to go and you want to find out what the world is all about and you want to pedal somewhere else then just leave you know that's what you told them and they had all the vast ocean to paddle and they paddled and while they were paddling they were finding your treasure they were finding treasure island now they want to come back because they want to give you part of their treasure they want to bring the, their treasure what they found to you and i think what they found out is that no freedom is n freedom is nothing without you so we have here suffering in silence this could be that you're waiting on them to come back but it could also be their energy because no this is your energy look at this yeah this is your energy you're waiting on them to come back look at this we have a nine here they are the turtle and you are the nine you gave them the freedom 
to choose. You set them free. That's what I feel. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. So yeah, they think about you 24-7. They want to come back. They want to bring you this, this treasure. Because they realized all the freedom is nothing without you. Oh, this is so beautiful. So yes, they think of you 24-7. So let's see what the feather is saying. It's a hummingbird feather. Release what you've been carrying and lighten up. New joy is on the way. Well, release what you are carrying. Look at that. I feel that you release them. And um, now they're coming back because they see that. Come on. Release what you've been carrying and lighten up. They want to bring their gift to you and lighten up, you know. No, guys, I really feel that both of you are nines. Both of you are separated. Both of you were together. You set them free. You set them free. You released them. You told them you can do whatever you want. Let's not be together. Um, you know, this person paddled the whole ocean. They found the treasure and now they're coming back and they want to bring it to you. So I bet, um, yes, this person is thinking of you 24-7. They co they're coming back. So wait for that. Okay. That's very beautiful. That was fast, that reading. Because it's very clear. It's very clear. Okay. So wait for that. They will come soon. That's really cool. And even there's a quote saying, you know, what you love, um, let it be free and it will come back to you. And this is exactly what's happening here. Beautiful, Pi 4. Okay. Beautiful. So that's all what I'm having. Bye, guys.